circle we have to show tangent at p is parallel to qr tangent at p is parallel to qr means we have to prove st is parallel to qr st or you can say pt is parallel to qr or sp is parallel to qr one and same thing because these all three points lie on the same tangent so let's start this question is quite easy first of all we are given qp is equals to pr so in triangle pqr angle q is equals to angle r angle q will be equal to r because angles opposite to equal sides are equal in a triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal now students angle rpt will be equal to angle q why this is angle between chord and tangent it will be equal to opposite interior angle i can mark it as x so or angle 1 so angle 1 is equals to angle q angles in alternate segment i repeat what are angles in alternate segment i will explain again if a angle is between if an angle is made between chord and a tangent just like angle 1 it will be equal to opposite interior angle and in short we call them angles in alternate segments so but i get angle q equal to r and angle 1 is equals to q from here we can derive q equal to r equals to angle 1 these all three angles will be equal take these angles angle r equal to angle 1 now if you observe the diagram r and 1 these are the pairs of alternate interior angles these are forming a pattern of z so angle r equal to 1 are alternate interior angles to likhenge but angle r equal to 1 but as these are you can remove but you can get as these are as this is a pair of alternate interior therefore qr will be parallel to pt if alternate interior angles are equal then lines will be parallel therefore qr is parallel to pt or we can say qr is parallel to this whole line st qr is parallel to pt it means qr is parallel to st hence proved number 15 we are given this figure and additional information is abcd abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral in which cb equal to cd so mark this equal tc is the tangent to the circle if o is the center of the circle and bc is produced to e such that dce is equals to 110 so this angle is 110 degree now we have to find angle dct and second part is we have to find angle boc dct matlab this complete angle we have to find dct and boc angle at center so let's start first of all we are given angle dce is equals to 110 degree this is angle between chord cd and tangent uh no it's not angle between chord and tangent 
DCE. Angle DCE. From here we can find angle DCB. DCB. Let's first of all find angle DCB by linear pair. Angle DCB plus angle DCE is equals to 180 degree linear pair. So angle DCB plus 110 figure in your book in figure angle is marked here but actually we are given angle OAB 35 so make correction this angle OAB is 35 degree and we have to find angle X and Y this is the center of the circle so to find Y first of all we will find angle at center angle subtended by chord AB at center then we will be able to find this so to find AOB let's start OB equal to OA radii of same circle and if OB and OA are equal it means angle OBA will be equal to angle OAB that is 35 degree angles opposite to equal sides are equal now in this triangle so this angle is 35 degree now angle in triangle AOB Angle AOB plus 35 plus 35 equals to 180 degree. Sum of angles of a triangle. So AOB plus 70 equals to 180. AOB equals to 180 minus 70 110 degrees now students mark this angle on figure this is 110 degree now AB subtends AOB at center and APB at circumference and we know that angle at center is twice the angle at circumference this is our circle property so making use of this property we will write angle AOB equals to two angle APB AOB equal to two APB this angle will be twice angle at circumference so write property in bracket angle subtended by chord you can write name of chord by chord AB at center is equals to twice angle at circumference so angle AOB we have calculated 110 degree so 110 equal to 2 angle APB from here angle APB equal to 110 upon 2 55 degree and APB is nothing but Y so Y equal to 55 degree this is our first answer we are also asked to find the value of X now see the figure X y y is equals to 55 degree if you observe x is angle between chord ab and tangent bt and we know that angle between chord and tangent is equal to opposite interior angle so x will be equal to y so write this down right x equals to y angles in alternate segment
सो x इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इन गिवन फिगर पी ए बी इज द सीकेंड एंड पी टी इज टेंजेंट एट पॉइंट टी वी हैव टू प्रूव नंबर वन ट्राइंगल पी ए टी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल पी टी बी एंड सेकेंड थिंग वी हैव टू प्रूव इज पी ए इन टू पी बी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू पी टी स्क्वेयर मीन्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट द सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द कॉर्ड ए बी उनका प्रोडक्ट इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर ऑफ टेंजेंट दिस वी हैव टू प्रूव सो लेट स्टार्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट वन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वन इन ट्राइंगल पी ए टी एंड ट्राइंगल पी टी बी लेट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रूव दीज बो ट्राइंगल्स सिमिलर लेट्स सी पी ए टी एंड पी टी बी इन बो ट्राइंगल्स एंगल पी इज कॉमन सो वील वी विल राइट एंगल पी इक्वल टू एंगल पी कॉमन नाउ वी हैव टू प्रूव एट लीस्ट वन एंगल वन मोर एंगल इक्वल इन बोथ दिस ट्राइंगल्स जस्ट सी दिस एंगल लेट मी टेक दिस एंगल एज एंगल वन एंगल वन इज बिटवीन टेंजेंट पी टी एंड कॉड टी ए कॉड टी ए सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू एंगल टी बी ए आई एम मार्किंग दिस एंगल टू एंगल वन इज बिटवीन कॉड एंड टेंजेंट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ऑपोजिट इंटीरियर एंगल दैट इज एक्वल एंगल टू सो एंगल वन इज इक्वल्स टू एंगल टू एंगल्स इन ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट नाउ टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल देर फोर ट्राइंगल पी ए टी सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल पी टी बी बाय ए ए रूल ऑफ या ए ए एक्सियम ऑफ सिमिलरिटी so first part we have proved now second part we have to find out we have to prove pa into pb equal to pt square for second part let's write the corresponding we know that if two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides are proportional that is ratio of their corresponding sides is equal so let's start angle p एंगल पी के ऑपोजिट है साइड ए टी एंड टी बी सो टी ए अपॉन टी बी इक्वल्स टू एंगल वन के ऑपोजिट है पी ए एंगल टू के ऑपोजिट है पी टी इन द बिगर ट्राइंगल नो राइट डाउन द थर्ड साइड टी पी अपॉन बी पी so as these two triangles are similar so their corresponding sides must be proportional so right property here corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional now we need pa pb and पी टी स्क्वेयर सो वी विल टेक दिस पेयर पी ए अपॉन पी टी इक्वल टू टी पी और पी टी सेम थिंग अपॉन पी बी नाउ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस यू गेट पी ए इन टू पी बी इज इक्वल्स टू पी टी इन टू पी टी दैट इज पी ए इन टू पी बी इक्वल टू पी टी स्क्वेर प्रूफ now question number 14 we are given in a right triangle abc so first of all draw a right triangle abc we are given that perpendicular bd on hypotenuse c is drawn so this is again 90 degree now we have to prove ac into ad equal to ab square this is the first part and in the second part we have to prove AC into CD equal to BC square. 
so this is a chapter related to circles so students we will draw a circum circle of triangle bdc so i have drawn here circum circle of triangle bdc so here angle d will touch here because it is angle in semi circle is 90 degree so here will be the center of the circle o now let's prove first part when i have drawn this circle you see cd is the chord of the circle which meets tangent ab at point a therefore we know that if a chord and a tangent intersect each other externally then the product of segments of chord is equals to square of tangent so using this property product of segments of chord cd will be ac into ad and tangent is ab so ac into ad equal to ab square this is the first one that we have proved students you need to write here construction i omit to write draw circum circle draw circum circle of bdc draw circum circle of triangle bdc so the first property i have proved now i have to prove ac into cd so from here we will start again ac into ad we have proved ab square for ad for instead of ad i can write ac minus ad for ad i can write ac minus cd equal to ab square now open the bracket you get ac square minus ac into cd equal to ab square or ac square minus ab square equal to ac into cd just look at the diagram students we know that triangle abc is a right angle triangle so ab square plus bc square equal to ac square hai na pythagoras theorem if we use i write here ab square plus bc square equal to ac square from here we can derive that ab bc square equal to ac square minus ab square right this is a right triangle so ab square plus bc square equal to ac square or bc square equal to ac square ye ab square idhar jaakar minus ho jayega from here for this ac square minus ab square i can write bc square so bc square equal to ac into cd or ac into cd equal to bc square proved question number 15 we are given abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral and we are also given dc is the tangent to circle and cb equal to cd and we are asked to find angle dc is 110 and we are asked to find angle dct and bc students read the statement all these things are given now we have to find angle dct means we have to find angle up to here how will we find this we have to follow few steps first of all in triangle bdc we are given dc is equals to bc therefore angle cbd will be equal to angle bdc cbd equal to angle bdc angles opposite to equal side are equal equal sides are equal 
बी सी ए एंड बी टी सी टी सी टी के ऑपोजिट है डी बी सी बी डी सी सी डी के ऑपोजिट सी बी डी और सी बी के ऑपोजिट बी डी सी लेट दीज एंगल्स बी इक्वल टू एक्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन ट्राइंगल बी डी सी दिस इज एक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो एक्स सो एक्स प्लस एक्स इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री वाई एक्सटीरियर एंगल इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑपोजिट इंटीरियर एंगल इन ट्राइंगल इन ट्राइंगल बी डी सी एक्स प्लस एक्स equals to 110 degrees students join this it will be make be easier for you this is x degree so x plus x equal to 110 because this is the exterior angle of triangle bdc write down property exterior angle of triangle equal to sum of opposite interior angles interior angles so 2x equals to 110 degree from here we get value of x that is 110 upon 2 55 degree students mark here on diagram this angle is 55 and x here it is also 55 degree now to find angle dct we need to find two angles we will do is this in two steps first of all we will find angle this one angle 1 then this angle angle 2 for angle 1 in triangle bdc angle 1 plus 110 we need not take this triangle Let's start from here. Angle one plus one hundred ten equal to one eighty degree linear pair. So angle one will be one eighty minus one hundred ten. That is seventy degree. So this DCT is made up of two angles, angle one and two. Now we need to find angle two. So students, angle two is angle between chord BC and tangent CT. so it will be equal to opposite interior angle that is x so write down angle 2 equal to x angles in alternate segment so it will be angle 2 equal to x it will be 55 degree okay now we have to find dct dct it is the sum of angle 1 and 2 so angle dct equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 angle 1 70 degree hai aur angle 2 55 degree hai so the sum total will be 125 degree this is our answer of first part now let's move on to the second part so dct was 125 degree now we have to find second part angle boc angle boc students dekho boc is made by chord bc bc makes boc at center and bdc at circumference so angle boc will be 2 into x which property we will use we will use angle subtended by angle subtended by chord cb at center is equals to twice the angle at circumference that is x degree in this question so boc is equals to 2 into x and students x we have found earlier 55 degree so 2 into 55 that is 110 degree is our answer so again BC ने सब टेंड किया बी ओ सी एट सेंटर एंड एक्स एट सरकम फेरेंस सो बी ओ सी इज डबल 
of x that is 2 into x 2 into 55 110 degree last question from this exercise question number 16 we had given this figure in figure ac is the tangent to the circle with center o c write down here c angle adb is 55 adb 55 we have to find x and pi also give reasons for your answers this is our question so let's start first of all i will find this angle angle between radius and tangent is 90 degree this is our property from circles chapter so angle oad is equals to 90 degree right property angle between radius and tangent oa is radius and adc ac is tangent now this is 90 so to find my first of all i will find this angle at circumference so in triangle a b d 55 plus 90 plus a b d equals to 180 degree i mark it as angle b 55 plus 90 plus angle b equals to 180 degree sum of angles of triangle triangle so 50 90 55 90 and b 145 plus angle b 180 degree so angle b 180 minus 145 degree that is 35 degree so students mark this angle 35 now we can find why first of all join ae right here join a e now when we join a e a e subtends angle y at center and 35 that is angle b at circumference so y is equals to 2 angle b angle at center is twice the angle at circumference center circumference bracket me property likhenge angle subtended by a e chord at center equal to twice the angle at circumference so y will be equal to 2 into angle b ka magnitude is 35 so 2 into 35 70 degree now one more angle we have to find that is x degree now students it is easy take triangle aoc so i have little space left so i have to remove this one in triangle aoc AOC Y plus 90 degree plus X degree equals to 180 degree sum of angles of triangle in first part we have found Y equals to 70 degree so 70 plus 90 plus X equals to 180 degree 160 degree plus x 180 degree so x is 180 minus 160 20 degree so this was the last question from this exercise thank you question number one sub part one we are given this diagram here two chords A, B and C, D are intersecting at point P and we have to find the value of X. We know that if in a circle two chords intersect internally then the product of their segments is equal. It means AP into PB will be equal to CP into 
पी डी सो फाइव इंटू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स विल बी इक्वल टू पी इंटू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव नॉट पी एक्स सो फाइव इंटू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स अपॉन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इक्वल टू एक्स नाउ सॉल्व इट डेसीमल से डेसीमल कैंसिल होगा फाइव सेवन सा थर्टी फाइव सेवन एट सा फिफ्टी सिक्स सो एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एट सेंटीमीटर दिस इज आर आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट सब पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सब पार्ट टू वी आर गिवन दिस डायग्राम लेट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बी पी वी विल यूज द सेम प्रॉपर्टी दैट वी हैव यूज्ड इन लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज इफ टू कॉर्ड्स इंटरसेक्ट इंटरनली देन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देयर सेगमेंट्स इज इक्वल यू हैव टू राइट प्रॉपर्टी साइडवेज सो वी विल राइट ए पी इंटू पी बी विल बी इक्वल टू सी पी इंटू पी डी सो एक्स इंटू नाइन विल बी 8.1 पॉइंट वन इंटू फाइव सो एक्स विल बी एट पॉइंट वन इंटू फाइव अपॉन नाइन रिमूव दिस डेसीबल राइट टेन हेयर नाइन नाइन सा एट्टी वन सो यू गेट नाइन फाइव सा फोर्टी फाइव अपॉन टेन सो एक्स इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस इज योर आंसर यू कैन राइट प्रॉपर्टी इफ टू कॉर्ड्स intersect internally in a circle product of their segments is equal so using this property we have solved this question and our, our answer is 4.5 cm now question number 1 sub part 3 we are given this diagram and we have to find the value of x in this question students two chords ab and cd are intersecting externally so we will use same property that we have used in last question that the product of their segments is equal so segments of ab chord are P A P A into P B. It will be equal to P C into P D. Now let's solve this. Seven into P B will be seven plus nine sixteen. From here, seven plus nine it is sixteen centimeter. Equal to P C P C is eight. and pd pd will be from here to here means pd will be 8 plus x cm now let's solve this so 7 into 16 112 this will be 8 will come here 8 plus x cut this 14 so you get 14 equal to 8 plus x now subtract this 8 from 14 you get the value of x that is 6 cm this is your answer now we are given this diagram for question number 1 sub part 4 in this question we have a chord ab and tangent pt chord ab and tangent pt are intersecting each other at point p and we have to find the value of x we will use this property that is product of segments of chord equal to tangent square means if a chord and a tangent intersect externally then the product of segments of chord is equal to square of tangent it means pa into pb will be equal to pt square so pa is 4.5 and pt pb pb we will take pb is 4.5 plus 13.5 we get 18 cm so 4.5 into 18 equal to x square multiply these 
you get 81.0 that is 81 so x square is 81 so value of x will be root 81 plus minus that is plus minus 9 so we will reject minus 9 because the length of any line segment cannot be negative so x is 9 centimeter this is your answer question number one subpart five we are given this figure we have to find the value of x tp is given 12 centimeter we will use the property that is product of segments of chord equal to tangent square as we used in the last question so product of segments are pa and pb so pa into pb will be equal to pt square pa is x and for pb we will write pb x plus 10 so this is equals to pt square and pt is 12 so you get here x square plus 10x equals to 144 we will form a quadratic equation x square plus 10x minus 144 equals to 0. Now I will factorize this. I have to find two numbers on multiplying which I get 144 and on subtracting I get 10. So I will make use of 18 and 8 because 18 minus 8 is equals to 10. Now splitting I get x square plus 18x minus 8x minus 144 equals to 0 make pairs taking x is common i get x plus 18 take minus 8 common so you get here x plus 18 so x plus 18 into x minus 8 equal to 0 x plus 18 is equals to 0 so you get x equal to minus 18 ये reject हो जाएगा because length can't be negative. On other side, x minus 8 equals to 0. From here, I get x equal to 8 centimeter. So, this is my answer. x equals to 8 centimeter.